I think it's much, I think everyone's got their own personal personal experiences and it, and it'll mean something to each individual. Uh, for myself and my, I joined the army to get away from to get away from my house that suffered domestic abuse and stuff. And when I joined, I was I was already full of so sort of anger, and hate and stuff. And I've getting to Afghanistan was like something I really wanted to do. Maybe just somewhere to take the anger and stuff out. Uh, so for my own personal reasons, it's I found myself watching the news the other day, and and obviously we've we've sort of known that it's maybe been coming for a while. But I think for the pace that it's happened and. Uh, the sort of ground that was covered by the Taliban and how quick it was done was, I think watching the news the other day was I, I, I felt myself getting kind of enraged again and and, and anger watching it. You know, for for all the sort of work that was put in and the lives lost and whatever else for for it to accelerate so quickly and, and the country to be taken over again when there was so much time put into and um, the place itself. It it was hard to watch. It was I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I sort of had to just tell my wife to turn it off and. I've spoke about it and I've sort of digested that there's there's not much I can do about it. Uh, it's one of the things I just want to need to accept that, that what's done's done and me personally can I can I change it? No, I can't. Uh, it's just going to something. It's just something that we're going to need to live with, unfortunately. My network of people is quite strong, but there'll be many out there who who haven't got that, you know, and. Um, I think with how fast it's accelerated, I don't think, you know, there's already a sort of crisis with mental health and, and soldiers that suffer with PTSD and other than, I think the acceleration that, that Afghanistan's took and uh, the Taliban taking it back, that I don't think anyone was really prepared for, for, this, for the fallout of how this is going to affect people mentally. So, you know, talking's obviously key. Uh, but who do you talk to? Do you know, with, with how fast it's how fast that it's happened. But nobody be prepared for it. I don't think anyone really knows how to think or where to turn. To be honest. There's a lot of people with that feeling and that bond that you've sort of created over there. Um, it's like-minded people. I think only only the ones who have been there and, and been in certain areas of conflict, sort of all. I won't really understand how that person's feeling. It'd be pretty hard for me to go and speak to my wife about it when, or any family member when they don't really understand this, that, that feeling that, that I've described there and how you felt when you were over there. Uh, so I think talking to other veterans and people who have, who have served in the country is, is massive. Uh, and it, they will obviously have an understanding of how you're feeling and, and to discuss that and talk about it. So obviously going to, I think the more the more spoken about it, the more, the more easier it will become. It doesn't make the the situation okay, uh, but certainly for myself, from what I went through, you know, I had to sort of go through help to, to realise that talking in general about stuff that I was going through was, was how I was going to deal with stuff.